Hey guys, this is Jen from From Head to Toe and today I wanted to share my current hair care routine with you. I've gotten a lot of questions about this in the past and honestly, I am not a super huge hair person. I don't like go out of my way to do a whole lot of stuff with my hair. So for those of you who are pretty low maintenance, hopefully you can sort of get to some middle ground by me sharing what I do with you. Um, to start off, let me just talk about my haircut and I ask for layers just all around up to about my ears and then I let them grow out for a few months. When it gets to a point where I just kind of get annoyed with it, I'll go in for another cut and basically I'll just get it a little bit shorter than what I really really love so that for the majority of the growing out time, it looks fine. Today, I showered this morning and I didn't do anything to my hair just to show you my hair in its natural state. This is how it looks when I literally shower in the morning and then I got out of the shower, I brushed it through and I let it air dry. So my hair is naturally a little bit wavy. My hair is at a point where I should probably cut it again. But as you can see, my layers have grown out to about here already. And like I said, I'll usually cut it up here just honestly only a couple times a year. So I guess I'll just start talking about what I do in the shower with my hair. I will shampoo my hair. What I'm currently using is this shampoo right here. It's the L'Oreal Sulfate Free Ever Strong Botify Shampoo. And this one, it actually smells really nice. And I've heard that a lot of sulfate-free shampoos don't give a very good lather, but I find with this shampoo, it's not the case. Like, it actually gives you really pretty, a pretty healthy lather, which I appreciate. And the smell is just really nice and fresh, but a little bit, yeah, kind of like minty, earthy kind of smell. I've heard that it's good to switch shampoos every time, like your hair kind of builds up the stuff that a certain shampoo doesn't get rid of and then if you switch shampoos it'll get the other stuff. In that sense, I don't think saying, oh this is my shampoo is really that important. Yeah, I just kind of switch it every time. For conditioner, so this is actually one I tried fairly recently and I really really like it. This is the Subaki, the Shiseido Subaki Damage Care Conditioner. There's like a red one, and then there's this one, and there's a gold one. This one is good if you have color treated or damaged hair. Um, it gives a lot of hydration, which I really appreciate. I think compared to like US salon grade conditioners and shampoos, this is actually cheaper, but it's more expensive than drugstore, so that kind of falls in between. Again, I'm like really not brand loyal to shampoos or conditioners. I literally just grab something different each time. Although I will say that there are a few brands that I would definitely go back to, one of them being, this one is the treatment conditioner, but I actually really love both the shampoo and conditioner from this line. This is the Essential Damage Care um, Rich Premier, and it's actually quite affordable. I think the shampoo and conditioner run about four or five dollars. I bought mine from Sasa, and I've also gotten it from prettyandcute.com. I tend to like Japanese and Asian drugstore level shampoos and conditioners more than the American ones, just because I think they're really better suited for Asian hair, in that Asian hair, especially my hair, it's really thick. I mean, it's like thick, but literally the individual strands of hair are really thick. So a lot of times, unless I have a really good conditioning conditioner, it'll be a little bit coarse. The biggest like extra special thing that I like to do with my hair is maybe like once a week, I like to use like an extra conditioning conditioner, which is what this treatment is. It's a little bit richer than your regular conditioner, and I don't use it every time because I don't want to really, really weigh down my hair, but I also switch these around. So in my bathroom right now, I have this one, which is essential. And I also have this one, which I talked about before. This is Excelsior Millennium Mud one, and this kind of smells an herby, not flattering scent, but it works. <laughs> this one is actually a protein restoring goop kind of conditioner. After a long period of time of not using this and your hair starts to get kind of brittle at the ends, if I use this it really restores my hair to sort of more of its normal like strong all the way through state. So this one I only use once in a while, like maybe once a month or so. So in general for products, I really only apply them from about the ears down because I have, I tend to have oilier hair 
and I'm breakout prone, so I don't really want to get those products all over my skin. So my, my shampoo, I'll shampoo everything, but then the condition, I will either split it in half like this and apply it to either side, or I will bring all of my hair to one side like this and just apply it here down, and really concentrating a lot on the ends because that's what gets the driest, especially since I dyed my hair. If I'm doing a deep conditioning treatment, um, one of the once a week like heavier treatments, I'll just kind of like twist my hair up and then put it inside a shower cap. And the shower cap is going to hold in the heat and steam which opens up the hair follicles, I don't know, the cuticles. By the time I wash my body and then I take off the hair cap and rinse everything out, my hair is a lot softer than if I just apply the conditioner and don't use the shower cap. So then every single time I'm out of the shower, like maybe at least 80 to 90% of the time, if I'm not too lazy. I'll use this, this is BioSilk, the Silk Therapy from BioSilk. And this is just a serum, so I'll apply maybe like a little dime-sized amount, and then what I do is I'll split my hair in half, and I'll apply half on this side. I'll just sort of like rub it in my hands and then comb it through like this. And then that really helps to seal everything in and it makes my hair a lot softer than if I don't use it. So I usually shower just at night because, I don't know, like, I don't like to take a lot of time waiting for my hair to dry or anything like that. So I'll just shower at night and I will sleep on my hair while it's wet and let it air dry while I'm asleep. I know a lot of you are gonna say things like, oh, you shouldn't sleep with your hair wet, you're gonna get a headache. You shouldn't sleep with your hair wet, you're gonna get a cold or something like that. But honestly, that is not something that I had ever heard of until I started talking about it on YouTube. Um, I'm guessing that's some kind of like, maybe an Asian-based superstition, because I think all the people that have brought it up have been Asian people. But I actually literally called my dad to ask about that, like, have you ever heard of this, where if you sleep with wet hair, you're gonna get a headache? And he had no idea, he had never heard of that before. Um, I still haven't asked my mom yet. I was like, well, she has longer hair than you, maybe she would know. But uh, that's not really a belief that was in my family, and I don't personally get any headaches or sicknesses from sleeping with my hair wet, and I've done it for years and years. So yes, that is what I do. Actually, if I sleep with my hair wet at night, and I let it air dry, it actually becomes more wavy than if I just air dry it. I really, really don't curl or straighten or blow dry my hair very often, maybe just a couple times a month. And when I do, I make sure to use like heat protectant and stuff like that in it. But like, I, I feel like I don't use it frequently enough to really talk a lot about it. I have a little travel size one of the Chi Silk Infusion heat protectant thing that I use once in a while and I have some kind of like spray bottle silk one that I got from Sally Beauty which I will list it on my blog because I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head but it was just some like off brand that I've never heard of and I just bought it because it was like five bucks. It, like I said, I'm super low maintenance with my hair other than the conditioning treatment. My hair has always been really, really fast to grow. I don't really know why. I mean, maybe I eat a lot of protein. <laughs> but no, my hair just grows really, really fast and it doesn't really break a lot. So I guess that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you want to see all the products I mentioned, and I'll probably add a couple more in there if I forgot things, you can always find that on my blog. That's from headtotoe.com. If you have questions about my hair, you can ask me on Twitter. That's twitter.com slash from head to toe. If you enjoyed watching this and would like to see similar videos, please subscribe up there. This is Jen, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.